The new K5 Compact from ExtraFi is one of the most advanced gaming keyboards I've ever seen. It has millisecond hyperscan tech built in to reduce latency and more macros than you could possibly need. There is even a command that will type out what firmware the keyboard has installed. You know what, I'm so hyped to see that, I think we'll try it out together right now. <laughs> it worked. The ExtraFi K5 Compact is the second product in collaboration between ExtraFi and Esports Pro 10s. The goal was to make a board that had enough customization for enthusiasts, but was still gamer focused first and foremost. They also dropped the GP5 desk mat in a variety of different color options, which I'll be looking at at the end of this video, so stick around if you're interested. Being honest, I'm always skeptical about gamer keyboards carrying a lot of PTSD from full-size membrane monstrosities with more stab rattle than a set of maracas. But on the K5 with the RGB off and a set of blank keycaps, you could be mistaken for thinking this was a product from the enthusiast scene. Looking at what ExtraFi have on offer, there's two flavors of standard board, the bare bones and the complete. If you do go for the complete board, it's only available in solid black or translucent sussy milk white, which is quite reminiscent of the MZ1. The complete package includes the 65% keyboard weighing in at just under a kilogram, adjustable feet for two angles of typing, an aluminium plate, two layers of noise dampening foam, both above and below the plate, pre-lubed PCB mount stabs, a straight woven USB-C cable, ABS keycaps with side print macro functions on them, and most importantly, hot swap switch sockets. Immediate impressions of the board unboxing it were that while the style and build quality was completely where I expected it to be, the feel wasn't quite there. The standard ABS keycaps felt light, hollow, and I imagine will probably start to shine after extended use. Similarly, the stabilizers were massively over lubricated, and whilst they were of good quality, my spacebar wouldn't rebound when depressed initially. Finally, the Kelred switches that it comes mounted with aren't factory lubricated and are drier than the Sahara Desert, consequently sounding like nails scratching and scraping on a chalkboard. So it was a bit of a letdown to have a board that looked so great on paper, let down by a couple of config choices, namely switches and caps. Now, I wanted to get these minor complaints in the rear view as quickly as possible up front because I'm going to spend the rest of the time simping pretty much everything else ExtraFi have done with the K5 Compact. And the reason I'm not considering those things as deal breakers is because ExtraFi have built the K5 with customization and options in mind. Almost everything on this board can be tweaked or swapped entirely, and obviously that includes keycaps and switches. I would be tempted to call it baby's first custom, but that's kind of not fair on the K5 because it does custom boards in an accessible and user-friendly way that I've not really seen in any other mainstream brands. It's this accessibility that means even grandma looking to buy a little Timmy a new gamer keyboard so he can dominate some Roblox noobs should be up to the task with the ExtraFi K5. They've built a configuration tool on their website that lets you bundle all the features you want, or not as the case may be, in a simple, easy to understand basket. Sure, this does cost a little bit more than buying one of their pre-configured boards, but for the mechanophobes among you, I'm pretty sure that's a word, this lets you splash around with the custom keyboard nerds in the kiddie pool, rather than jumping directly into the deep end and tragically drowning. And the customization options don't just stop once you've bought it. If like me, you have set up ADHD and change your mouse and keyboard more than any sane person probably should, then the K5 toolless faceplate swap is priceless. You can hold the edges and gently snap the frame up to remove it and enjoy the floating layout, or drop in any one of their 11 color options that immediately change the vibe of the entire board, going from something like Miami Neon to muted and neutral. That's not to say you can't crank the unicorn puke and light this thing up in a variety of different RGB wave and pulse options too. And if it's plugged into a USB 3 port, you can go all the way to 11 for those times when you need to go one more brightness. And at only $11 per frame, this is a really affordable way to switch up your desk if you want to impress your crush by matching your keyboard to your collection of pop vinyls and plushes. I think it's the attention to detail on the little things that really elevate the board for me. Things like the magnetic badge of ExtraFi or GG Well Played that's available in a variety of different colors to match or print your own with an STL file that they provide. And being a generic USB-C connection, you can use any old cable that you've got laying around in your own personal man drawers. Or buy one of these swanky coil cables to flex a $60 surplus purchase for strangers on the internet whilst the cost of living rises to unprecedented levels all around us. Similarly, with the switches on the K5 being hot swap, you don't need a soldering iron or a degree in electrical engineering to change how the keyboard feels or upgrade it in the future. It's really impressive just how much of an upgrade there is dropping in a set of factory lube switches or some of China's finest PBT clone keycaps when compared to the stock setup that I mentioned at the start of the video. Coupled with more premium switch and cap options, the two layers of dampening foam that ExtraFi have installed on this board give it the more deep and 
stocky sound that enthusiasts look for. Here's how stock sounds versus an example of how I would personally recommend that you set up your board instead. Unlike some custom PCBs, this board comes pre-configured and ready to go with things like 1000 Hz pull rate for ultra responsive keystrokes, or even half millisecond scanning, which ExtraFi have dubbed super scan. Although to be honest, for someone like me, that term means about as much as Megapint does to Johnny Depp's defense lawyers. Being a 65% layout, you will lose your F row and numpad, but it still retained all of the features that I needed, either through dedicated buttons like the arrow keys, page up, down, and delete, or through more macros than you can shake a jar of switches at. And on this basis, it's kind of hard to find fault at what Extra 5 put out with the K5. And alongside the K5 Compact, they've also launched their range of gaming desk mats, the GP5. The GP5 XL was obviously designed to complement the K5 keyboard. It's available in four color options, but only one size at present, that being 920 by 400 millimeters, with the base being three millimeters thick. I really like the abstract vector designs that Extra 5 used, although it does kind of make me want to see one of my personal faves, the GP4 Street Art, released in the desk mat version too. Whilst it is rolled in one of Extra 5's characteristically toit, boxes, the new base rubber that they use helps it lay flat almost immediately. Its medium firm base also works well as an additional layer of acoustic dampening if you're going to place your keyboard on top of it. This is particularly useful if you share an open plan office or have a partner trying to sleep in the room next door whilst you furiously type GGEZ in the lobby chat after the narrowest of victories. It does have edge stitching but I was a bit disappointed to see that it's raised up above the surface level and is quite rough when compared to the excellent stitching seen in Extra 5's other flagship pad, the GP4. The GP5 is also a very smooth surface with little texture on it at all. Whilst it's advertised as a fast pad, in all honesty, I found that this was only half accurate with the pad still having a fair amount of static friction to get the mouse moving initially. There was low kinetic friction though, so I never felt the mouse slow down in large swipes. I did notice as well that over time, my forearms and wrists would start to stick to the pad a little bit as it heated up and absorbed my sweat. I do worry that in warmer climates or during the approximate Ultimately, four days each year of glorious British summer that we enjoy in the UK, that this pad could start to slow down considerably. The GP5 is by no means a bad pad, and I don't think that there's anything that it did wrong specifically. But it also didn't do anything that made me point to it and say that this is a must-buy purchase alongside your new K5 keyboard. And on that, let's bring it back to the K5 keyboard to wrap. At $89, the K5 barebones keyboard is everything that I'd want as a hobbyist gamer looking to move up from my appalling Dell membrane board that I acquired from the IT classroom when the teacher wasn't looking. It's kind of the beauty of what Extra 5 built with the K5 board. It's modular and can fit with anyone's budget or need. For the record, I think the complete board is good, but the bare bones has the potential to be so much better with a set of lube switches and PBT keycaps. Will the K5 beat out an enthusiast custom keyboard? Probably not. Is the K5 going to cost me as much to build as an enthusiast keyboard? Almost certainly not. It exists in an interesting middle ground for people that want the performance and features of a gaming keyboard, but don't want to give up the flexibility of being able to customize and upgrade their board in the future. I do hope Extrify look to upgrade their complete package in the future to include lubricated switches and PBT keycaps, but for now, I think they've dropped a pretty hype keyboard into the gamer space and I'm interested to see where they take it in the future. I've been Gary, this has been Get Reviews, and if you're still watching now, you know what? Don't even worry about subbing. Show's over, go home, walk your dog, hug your family. Failing that, if you are sticking around with the other deviants, I will catch you in the next.